Hey everyone and welcome to Engenomics. I'm Hank and today I wanted to go into a doozy of a topic for you guys and that is the concept of 3D printed houses. You may remember in one of my last videos I went into the concept of 3D printed cars and while I thought the technology was super cool I thought it was a bit far-fetched and a bit unrealistic but I've learned that some of that similar technology is being applied to houses. Soon enough we'll be driving our 3D printed cars into our 3D printed garages and meeting our 3D printed families for 3D printed dinner. But all jokes aside, at face value, this stuff is pretty cool, but it's a lot more involved than you may think. This video is titled 3D Printed Home Can Be Constructed for Under $4,000. So based on that title alone, I'm really excited to see where this video goes and to see if this can actually change the game of affordable housing, which I know is a huge problem for a lot of people. The viability for 3D printing in this space is really interesting, but we shall see. Let's see the video. Now I know it goes fast, but let's pause here and check out the setup here. It looks like a frame of a house supporting the 3D printer, which in turn is printing a base. It's like a Russian nesting doll full of houses. But the thing here is that someone has to erect the frame, someone has to maintain it, and someone has to make sure that all of the parts are moving and in working order. But let's press through. I think the motivation to build an entire community for people who need it is extremely novel, and I really want to see where this goes in the future. That said, I'm a little skeptical to see where exactly and how reliable this is actually going to work out. My main concern for this community is actually the concrete itself, because concrete is actually a pretty old technique and it hasn't really changed a whole lot. Buckling walls or uncured concrete could actually be a huge problem in this case, because in the video they state that it would take under 24 hours when in actuality, it may take concrete up to 28 days to fully cure. And that's pretty crazy when you think about it. Timeline aside, let's move forward. And here's the final result. And honestly, it looks super nice and super trendy, but look at that rat's nest of cables in the ceiling. The beauty with standard houses is their compatibility with already reliable and tested solutions. When you need an outlet or a drain installed in your house, there's a good chance that you can go down to your local hardware store and that equipment is already gonna be there. In addition, it's gonna be easy for an electrician or a plumber to come in because they've known and they've seen a lot of these houses. 3D printed houses are going to be customized and might have that same rat's nest of cables that you see in that video. With 3D printed houses, their customizability is also their downfall. Look at the house here. If you need an electric panel, heating, plumbing, you have to think about this stuff in advance. This problem could be solved with external metal conduit, pipes, and HVAC, but then that isn't exactly a 3D printed house, is it? An alternative solution to 3D printed houses is prefab. Prefab has components that are made off-site and then are brought onto the site and then built there. Plus, prefab houses are already available, cheap, and stable. These would all be issues for individuals that are seeking low-income housing. In the book Evicted, author Matthew Desmond says that 1 in 14 Americans are evicted from housing every year. Low-income, affordable housing is a problem that can't be solved by just 3D printing. Therefore, I believe that it would be much easier to utilize economies of scale to fight the low-income housing crisis. Larger apartment buildings and multi-house complexes could bring down the cost easily. Additionally, the increased use of prefab technique can automate a good portion of the home building process. Then, the wall panels, roofing, and miscellaneous components can be assembled like Legos. Now, for everything I did say about 3D printed houses not being a great solution, I have to acknowledge the advantages that they have. 
This kind of machine that they use in the video could be huge in areas without wood or other industrial equipment. On their website, Icon, the company that 3D printed the house in Austin here in the video, shows off Project Olympus, which could use this technology to construct buildings on the moon. Now that's pretty cool. Finally, like other 3D printed ventures, 3D printed buildings have the potential to create customizable, open source, generatively designed buildings with less material. Once most of the kinks that I mentioned in this video are ironed out, I could see this being used to make highly customizable and really creatively done buildings. But like I said earlier, 3D printing is a pretty cool technology, but I just don't think it's ready for this kind of large scale use, especially when it comes to houses or cars. Um, with that said, thanks for watching all the way to the end. I'm Hank from Engineomics, and if you like this video, hit subscribe and hit like as well. Uh, it helps me out a great deal. So thanks for watching the end. Bye.